Now it's time once again for me just to briefly climb on a soapbox and kinda preach at you. Neat typing in PowerShell will save you a lot of time. For example, you'll notice that when I'm typing here in these demos, as, as well as in the, the code samples and command examples in the book, I tend to type fairly neatly. Get process, space, uh, pipe to, space, get member, enter. Uh, or if I wanted to sort on something perhaps, then it's sort and then the name and then a space and then I want to sort on, I don't know, virtual memory. And I want to do that in descending order. PowerShell will certainly let you be a little bit less neat about it. You don't need the space on either side of the pipe character, for example. You do need the space between the command and the first parameter, between the parameter name and its value, between that and the next parameter. So rather than worry about where you do need spaces and don't need spaces, get in the habit of becoming a neat typer. Put the space in. That's why the space bar is so gigantic on the keyboard, so that it's easy to hit, so that you can use it and make a nice, neat-looking command line. When the time comes to copy this to the clipboard, you, it'll already be neatly typed. You can paste it into a text file, and well, you've got a script or a batch file so that you can run this same command again and again and again without having to retype it all. But the idea is to really focus on the neat typing. Please do that. The more you can start forcing yourself to get into that habit, the less trouble you'll have running different PowerShell commands, the less time you'll spend troubleshooting and debugging PowerShell commands, and ultimately, the less frustrated you're going to be. So, neat typing. And I'll get off my soapbox.